I've been working on my children's book, uh, so I've been very busy, but I have had a chance to read a couple of books, uh, which, one of which is Eviscerator by Farrah Rose Smith. It was released as part of Eraser Head Press's New Bizarro author series. I was part of the New Bizarro author series of 2015, and I was really surprised by this book because uh, mine, I know I'm not supposed to say this, it's not a professional thing to say, but I kind of didn't know what I was doing yet and it's very, mine is very all over the place, so you can tell that I'm very new and didn't really know what I was doing, whereas this is like a real book. The cover is brilliant, I love it. It kind of brings to mind very Victorian kind of medical stuff and it's kind of like Lovecraft, um, Edgar Allan Poe meets Poppy Z. Bride. It's very um, gothic and new wave but there's a real story there. It's not because sometimes like I kind of like Poppy Z. Bride but sometimes I feel like she just wants to mention how you know many many times that people have got dyed hair whereas you know this is a real story the only thing i perhaps had a slight problem with is that um whilst the story shifts from sort of time to time which is fine you know i can cope with that i occasionally didn't know which character was saying what and which character was doing what so it was just like a very sort of small um issue that left me a bit confused but with relation to the story being all over the place um all over the place in a good way not in a messy way i just remember some advice that a script writer gave people on a tv program where he said it's better for the viewer or the reader to be confused for 10 minutes than bored for half an hour so um, yeah, it was very interesting. Um, I highly recommend it. I think she's going to be brilliant. I mean, she is brilliant, but she's going to be even more brilliant. So, yes. And the next one is I, I did a buddy read with some other people and we've been emailing each other, which is very nice. And I will put everybody's channel involved down in the description. We were reading The Wizard of Oz by Frank L. Baum. Baum? Baum. And um, yeah, it's very sweet. I do like it. I, I'm i slightly disappointed that the shoes aren't red, they're silver. But um, yeah, I think the thing with that story is that everyone knows it so well, obviously from the film and so on. I don't know if I expected it to be a little bit darker perhaps because I used to love Return to Oz when I was little. It was one of my favorite films. But um, yeah, there's dark bits in it like, um, the Tin Woodsman um, becomes a Tin Woodsman because he keeps chopping bits of himself off and and so on. And there are sort of like random moments of violence, which is quite funny considering the opening bit um, is him explaining that he's wanted to write a children's book without all the nasty stuff that are often in fairy tales, and yet you know here's this man chopping himself to bits. But you know it's not it's not um, it's not dark or anything really. I don't think. Um, I think it's just that we know the story so well that if you were reading it for the first time I can tell that uh, you'd be very excited but obviously you know we know what happens so the excitement is somewhat dampened but it's a sweet book I like it and yeah okay that's probably pretty much it um I'll see you next time bye